Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. A little while ago I did a, a haul on a couple of coloring books and was asked if I could do a slower and um, more in-depth video on all of the books that I did. So first we're going to go with Emma's Tale, which is in Inktober 2020 by Grazio Salvo. And it's a nice little book. It's hard covered and it is uh, about eight and a half by six. Perfect little book. Most journals are about this size. And you'll notice that when we get inside the book. Okay, it's got a black covering here. And then you get in and it gives you the title, the name. The little book belongs to Paige here which is a necklace, which will come in in a little bit. <laughs> There's a bit of a story here on Emma's and her journey. Following these prompts here for the Inktober 2020 prompt list, she created uh, all the drawings in this coloring book. Each picture has been signed with the appropriate prompt. So we have like all these in here. So 31 coloring pages. Then you get the information on this side. Um, there are days when Emma wakes up with the sensation of living inside a bubble like the fish in an aquarium that will never live freely in the depth of an infinite sea. So she has something like this on every page here. Now in this book it follows a storyline about Emma uh, she one day finds a strange looking necklace that invokes a magical atmosphere and calls to her. So Emma entrusts her necklace to her <laughs> faithful nibbling friend, a mouse called Misty. You'll notice here you have a grid page which you would find in bullet journals. Hence the reason I said it's like a journal page in here. You can use this to write down the colors you colored that page in or your thoughts, your feelings, or anything that you would like to put down here. I probably will use it for color combinations, um, art related items. So on every other page you will have the words, the picture, and then two journaling pages. Okay. They're pretty thick pages, um, kind of cardstock type. Anyway, in here we will find little Misty, Missy, her mouse, that uh, will come up pretty soon. But each one of these has a little story that goes with the page. And then you'll have two pieces of these. Kind of tells you a little bit of the story along the sides here. This one starts to tell you about her friend. <laughs> She'll be coming up here. And there is Missy, the little mouse. So Emma entrusts the necklace she finds to this little one here. And during the journey of the little mouse, Emma discovers um, a portrait of a lady and that is the mysterious lady that the necklace belongs to. Isn't that pretty? Not that little Missy up there. And in the uh, rest of the story you get to find the journey that she takes to find the lady, discover her existence and all the things that they do. At the beginning of the book, you can read the uh, whole storyline. So most of these pages will have a piece of um, Emma and a little bit of Missy in there as they go through their journey. <laughs> it's a really cute book. It's got some really nice pictures in here. 
the pictures here down at the bottom you can color in also. It's a very thick book and like I said it's hard copies so I'm gonna have to break the spine a little bit so it will lay down a little flatter. They are sewn together so it makes it easy. It's almost like a, a journal book. Like I said, there's, I believe, 31 prompts in here. And each one is listed. This one's dizzy. And you would probably dizzy, be dizzy if you're up on a cloud that far up off the earth. I would be. So it's a fun book. I've always loved looking at it uh, on other people's channels and thought I could use this and leave it out on my desk. There's the portrait of the lady. <laughs> and again, I have to pull that open a bit more so I'm not holding it down as hard. Poor little rocket. And bend it. There we go. <laughs> She's wearing the necklace here. There. <laughs> so yeah, it's really f a fun book. You get to have the story. You get a picture to col color in uh, kind of a gray scale type of paper. You could probably use watercolor on them. I'm not sure. It'll probably wrinkle it up a little bit. Tumbos, anything else. But remember that you're probably, if you're using um, alcohol markers, going to lose the back of this page for writing. Or it may even make a cool design and you can just write over it. Up to you. You'll have to read the story. <laughs> I'm not going to read it, the whole thing. That's a cute one too. Just her skirt is really pretty color. I like that page ripped out. Almost towards the end here. music going up to the ship. It's attaching both people together. <laughs> That's cool. Almost to the end. And then she kind of tells you a little bit about the end of the Inktober and the, where her story ends with the desire and feared encounter with the gift that seemed too big, like the long cloak splayed on the ground and not only envelops, but also protects. <laughs> That's cool. Then you get just a couple of extra pages in the back. You can use them as... Uh, even color guides to see what you can use in the book. Here you have um, a little blib here. I strongly encourage you to post colored works on the group and then she has her Facebook group here. 
She also has her Instagram and her Etsy shop, the printing, and all that kind of information down here. So if you wanted to pause that and get that information, then we have the last page, which is the black page, and the back of the book, and a couple of the pictures here. It's just a really cool, fun little book. The more you open this, the more it will, you know, expand and be a little more easy to lay flat down on the surface because it is stitched. So keep that in mind. The more you uh, color in here too, the pages will expand this way a little bit. <laughs> so putting like a little rubber band on that might be a fun idea. But that is that book. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye now.